Here I have a BQI document that I've started to create. I've created my query. I can go through, process this, and get my results. And then I've actually gone out and built a little tiny pivot and a little chart. Now, if I want to, we can take a look at those embedded section objects. So what I can do is go out, click Insert, New Dashboard, and I have a new dashboard. And here I can choose some of the objects that I've already created. So if I want to, I can go out and create my pivot and drag that in, and I'll size it appropriately. I can also, if I want to, maybe drag my chart in as well. If I want to make these active now within my HTML client, I can go out, click on Properties, and I can make this embedded section active. I can do the same thing for the chart if I would like to. All right. The other thing that you'll see is once this becomes active, when I do a right mouse click, I get this new option for shortcut menu. And now you can see I have all these different shortcut menu items. And I can choose what I want to show up for each object that I've made active in the shortcut menu. So if I don't want my, my users to have the drill up or drill anywhere functionality, I can actually remove that from the shortcut menu if I need to. It gives you a lot more fle uh, flexibility on the functionality that you're exposing. Now, if I run out to Workspace, we can take a look at this. When I come into Workspace, this is the new home page. You'll see it looks a little bit different. But I can also just go out to my Explore page that you're probably more familiar with. And here, I already published this a little bit earlier. I can go out and I can open up this document and take a look at it. And you can see, so here is my dashboard. And now, all of a sudden, I actually have functionality within the dashboard. So instead of having to put this into an embedded browser object like we used to have to, the embedded section is now actually fully functional and the shortcut menu is actually customizable so that I can choose what shows up here when I do my right mouse click. 